What's up everyone, it's your boy Ren here, and this is Triple R&R. Alright, so in today's episode, I'll be going over my entire mobile vlogging rig, which includes my mobile device, the lenses that I'll attach to it, any lighting, microphones, cables, mounting hardware, tripods, as well as pretty much anything else that I'm going to be attaching to the mobile vlogging rig. So with that said, let's get started. All right, so first up, since this is a mobile vlogging rig, I'm going to show you the mobile device that I chose was the uh, iPhone 10. So yeah, there's plenty of reviews and videos online, um, but what I chose was the 256 gigabyte model. Um, so far so good, the quality is fantastic, and um, I've just been using this for pretty much all the videos on my channel, so feel free to check those out. Um, I even used my first couple videos, I used the mic straight from the phone. I didn't use any microphone before I bought this mic that I'm going to be showing you guys. Um, but yeah, iPhone 10 can't go wrong, uh, pretty much a video studio in your pocket. Awesome. The uh, lenses that I chose to attach to my iPhone 10 is the Sandmark Action Gear Drama Filter. It's a polarizer filter for the iPhone. Uh, basically, it pretty much fits every iPhone model. Um, they show it right there on the back, uh, and it also fits my iPhone 10 perfectly. Now, the reason why I chose this one specifically is because it is a snap-on iPhone filter. Uh, meaning that you don't have to buy a case for uh, in order to use the filter like a lot of the models out there are doing that too So you're handcuffed to a case in order to use a, cell, a lens for your camera Which is cool and all but I, I don't want to have to do that So I looked up online research specifically uh, clip-on filters for the iPhone 10 and this bad boy came up This is pretty much one of the only uh, snap-on filters that you can get for the iPhone 10 currently right now in January 2018 um, so yeah, definitely taking advantage of this. Uh, they also sell uh, other lenses for this that can just screw on to the snap-on mount, and then you can just take it with you whenever you want, and it is really convenient, awesome, and it reduces glare for all your shots, any water shots, anything like that that you take outside or even inside. Um, definitely take advantage of this. Uh, Sandmark is killing it right now, um, ahead of the game from everybody once this iPhone 10 was released. So yeah, this is the filter that I choose, and it's a great snap-on filter. Check it out. Alright, so moving on to lighting. What I chose was the Manfrotto Lumamuse 8. Now, the Lumamuse 8, basically that just means there's 8 LEDs on this device. Um, I know they have a Lumamuse uh, 4, 6, I don't know, 20... Gold jacket, green jacket, who gives this shit? Yeah. Or something like that. Um, what I chose was the 8 because it definitely provides enough brightness uh, for daytime scenarios. If you're indoors and there's a little shadows in the back and you need to get those uh, brightened up a little bit, you can. Um, you can also use this outside and it is extremely bright. So it's going to handle everything that you need for lighting, um, for your portrait shots, for uh, pretty much all the scenarios that you'll need. Um, and even down the road, so if you want to expand and attach it to your DSLR, you can. Um, so this can definitely be a device that you can uh, grow with. Um, so if you want to expand past this mobile device setup, you have that option with this bad boy. Um, so that's why I chose this Manfrotto uh, Lumimuse 8 for my setup, because I can also use it outside of that setup as well. So. Great choice. Uh, Manfrotto is pretty much the best industry standard for lighting. Uh, check them out. All right, next, uh, moving on to audio. So what I chose for my mic was the Video Mic Pro made by uh, Rode. And this is a really common microphone that pretty much everyone is using with their DSLR, as you can see here on the back. Um, that's another reason why I chose this mic. Um, it's compatible with the iPhone 10. Sounds amazing. I'm using it right now. Um, but it is also able to expand um, outside of this mobile vlogging rig. So if I want to purchase a DSLR down the road, which I do intend on doing, um, I can then attach this uh, mic right to that device without having to expand like those other little iOS mics that attach straight to the device. You'll only be able to use that with your phone. But with this one right here, you'll be able to use it with your phone and also with your uh, outside cameras or anything else that you want to upgrade to down the road. So. This is something that can move with you and grow with you, uh, and that's why I chose this Rode VideoMic Pro. Uh, it sounds amazing, and um, it's great as well. I also purchased the bundle, so it came with the dead cut, it came with the battery, uh, as well as the mic. So check it out, the link is going to be in my description, but this is why I chose that uh, microphone. 
awesome. Quickly, another uh, accessory that is needed if you're going to use the Video Mic Pro is this SC4 cable. So if you buy this adapter, you can then attach it to the dongle that attaches into your phone and uh, easy, simply just turn on the microphone, hit record on your phone, and it instantly starts recording and sounding seamless. Again, I'm using it right now with the adapter, um, but yes, you need to buy the SC4 if you intend on using the uh, Video Mic Pro with your phone. So remember, pick up both of these. You won't uh, regret it at all, but you'll definitely need both if you want to use it with your iPhone 10. All right, next is the mounting hardware that I chose, which would be the ShoulderPod X1. Now, the ShoulderPod X1, specifically why I chose this, is it is built for mobile uh, devices as a rig, so you can go around conveniently, break it down, um, build on it, because it is modular, and they uh, do sell specific pieces that you can add to this as well, but the X1 includes everything that you see here in this picture, including the strap and all that, except for the mic, the camera, you know, all that, but uh, everything that it's attached to, so you can see here that it includes a uh, device um, or attachment for your mobile device, attachment for your lights, and attachments for your mics, uh, and uh, it is all handheld, but it can also attach to your tripods, which is how I intend on using it. Um, but yeah, shoulder pod is the uh, one that I've researched to pretty much be the best one that's focused for mobile devices. The quality is extremely well made, um, made of wood, metal, as well as the uh, plastic that they do include, which would be for your phone. Uh, it's actually um, solid. So you don't have to worry about any hollow pieces breaking overnight or breaking your bag or anything like that. So this is extremely well made and worth the money. Um, look into shoulder pod X1. Uh, you won't regret it. These guys are awesome. All right, so next, uh, my tripod of choice that I chose is the uh, Casey Neistat Special, the Joby Gorilla Pod Focus. Um, this one actually came with the Ball Head X uh, mount attachment, which is needed especially for uh, the shoulder pod that we're going to be using with this combination. So this gate basically enables us to get those nice shots uh, for your vlogs or anything else where you want to attach your camera to a tree or a pole or anything where you need that extra stability where you don't want to worry about uh, it falling over or anything like that. Now the uh, specifically the GorillaPod Focus uh, can hold up to 11 pounds so everything that I showed you here doesn't even weigh that much so this can definitely hold all of that including the shoulder pod, the mic, the light, your mobile device, uh, anything else that you want to attach even onto that further. Um, like me, I attach an extra action cam onto the shoulder pod on the bottom and it can hold that uh, without an issue as well. So yes, now I know the GorillaPod did release an upgraded version of this uh, Focus, which is I think it's the GorillaPod 5K, um, but right now this is still the highest rated and pretty much industry standard for anyone that is uh, blogging or on YouTube or anything like that. You can always see uh, everyone with a GorillaPod. And that's for a reason. They're they're really pretty much the best. Um, the quality is fantastic, and you don't have to worry about it um, falling over, breaking anything like that on you. Um, this can definitely take a beating, and uh, and it can last and it can grow with you as long as you take care of it. It'll definitely take care of you. You know, so. Definitely pick one up of these, you won't regret it. So for the extra accessory that I mentioned that I attach onto my shoulder pod um, would be the Cam Park ACT74 action camera. Now I recently did receive this and I'm still currently reviewing it right now, but uh, seems to get the job done. It's not as high quality as the GoPros, of course, but that said, it does shoot in 1080p at 60 frames per second, and I did do a review as well um, on my channel, so you can check that out for any uh, for the closer details. Um, but yeah, this will definitely catch those shots that I want um, opposite of my vlog. So I'm going to turn this on in any moments where I want to catch uh, two different scenes at once, including when the phone's shooting me, I can put this on the bottom of my uh, shoulder pod while it poops. Uh, films uh, in front of me, you know? So anyways, I'll give you an example of that, how that looks as well. Uh, next, I'm just gonna move on to show you how the entire setup looks put together. And uh, yeah. All right, first things first, let's get this table clear. All right, so starting with the ground up, so to speak, we will check out this uh, GorillaPod Focus. Now, so basically, like I said, what I'm going to be doing is attaching everything to this uh, Gorilla Pod. So, pretty self-explanatory. Everything's in the box. 
Um, just close this. All right, so here we go. There we go. So next we have the Shoulder Pod X1. So I went ahead and just took everything out of the box already. Get this box out of here. Now I'll go ahead and attach the Shoulder Pod X1 to the Gorilla Pod. So with these two combined, um, you definitely will not be disappointed. Um, just the quality is fantastic for sure. Okay, next we have the Manfrotto Lumamuse 8. Um, so again, this is just the, pretty much the best light that I found for the setup that I have right now. So to attach the Manfrotto Lumamuse 8 onto the shoulder pod, all you need to do is take the little attachment that actually was shipped with the Lumamuse, just screw it on like so. There we go. Okay, it's on there, right here. Um, ball head joint, you can see the Manfrotto branding on the back so everybody knows that you're using that. Um, and yeah, all right, moving on. So now you can see it's slowly coming together, light in the middle. Um, you put your iPhone right here, which I'm gonna show you how we do at the very end. Um, the Joby, the Gorillapod focus is um, pretty nice. Still not heavy at all. You can just easily keep it in one hand, um, just like I'm showing you right here. Um, easy to grip with one hand because that's how you're primarily going to be using it too. Um, it's really simple to use and definitely recommend. Switch over to start recording with my ACT7 IV action camera um, for this part of the second, just so you guys can see how it looks like um, with the microphone and the iPhone 10 attached to the shoulder pod and the grill pod and everything like that. All right, I'm going to switch over right now. All right, so here we go. The setup completely put together right now. I'm just using the mic while it's attached to my phone for the audio, so with that, but it's not a problem. So now we can see definitely the setup is uh, complete, how it looks with the phone attached. Um, it's definitely not bad at all. Good weight, like I was saying. So when you're vlogging, just you're able to just walk around with this thing and it's just a uh, pretty easy once you get the hang of it. Uh, I usually like to keep it in my uh, left hand, but once you have to put the phone on center, you're able to like figure out. So now I'm just gonna show you a little bit other things that I attach onto the rig, like the action camera that I used to record that little snippet. All right, so just to go over the last bit of the items that I had in regards to attachments, um, First, I was going to show you guys the case that I use for my iPhone 10. It is the OtterBox Symmetry case, I believe, and it is I like it just because it's sturdy as crap and it's uh, clear. Um, but one thing I should mention is that it does tend to overheat the phone where I'd get that little caution symbol. Um, but it is super protective and I don't have to worry about anything once this is on my phone. Um, next, we have that uh, Sandmark uh, drama filter, the clip-on filter that I was talking about for the iPhone 10. Um, here's what it looks like, easy, just clip on. Um, here's the iPhone 10 case, so you can see it just goes right over the camera and it would go over perfectly. So you can see that it would take pictures like that, you don't have to worry about anything. Um, you don't have to worry about it not fitting at all because I can vouch for you right now that it does. Um, the filters itself that it's shipped in is a sturdy case that you can see. Um, and now here's the lens itself, the Sandmark polarized lens. You can see the polarization on it itself and it is very, very, uh, the quality is just hands down very well made, so you don't have to worry about anything like that. Um, and they all ship in the cases like this as well. Uh, the extra lenses that the Lumimuse were sent with are shipped in this case here. So you can see the extra filter that I was telling you I haven't used. Um, and the other attachment that I do uh, attach onto this rig here that I was telling you guys about is the ACT74 action camera from Campark. Uh, how I would do that is usually just take the shoulder pod here and then now I would just attach it on using the attachment that came with the action camera and uh, shoulder pod just allows you to screw on any type of attachment here just because they have both the attachment holes at the bottom like I was saying because you can expand the system itself um, because it is modular like they say. Um, but here, you can just imagine what the whole setup would look like with the iPhone 10 in it. You've already seen what that looks like. So now, with the action camera here, and the, uh, it's just, the weight is really, really easy to hold. Um, the quality is very well made. Uh, and this is hands down what I believe to be the best, uh, setup for your mobile phones that you can buy, um, hands down. Since 
I'm pretty much not gonna use it. Um, I was given this Watson rechargeable battery, uh, nine volts, it came with the uh, Rode VideoMic Pro. Um, if you're interested in having it, just shoot me a message, subscribe to the channel, um, anything else pretty much, and if you're interested in it, I'll mail it out to you guys for free. So the first one to do that, subscribe to my channel, um, add me on the socials if you can, anything helps, I'll definitely send this out to you for free, no problem. All right, so that's it. Let me know what you think about today's episode in the comments. I also left you all the links for each item mentioned in today's episode so you could check them out yourself right down in the description. Hit the like button if you enjoyed today's episode and please hit the subscribe button to support the Triple R&R channel. Again, I'm Ren and I'll see you next time.